Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you, you may be seated. Praise the Lord. First John, chapter three. I am here with this message because I don't know why. We, we are like, um, we are living according to our senses, not according to what, you know, God has shown in our lives. We don't know how to love. We don't know how to love. We learn from Jesus how to love. And there's no way you can remain alone and claim to know how to love your brother or your sister. Because the way I understand love is not something that you can use, you know, against anyone or maybe use to someone who is helping you or giving you some. The love of God has no boundary. His love is unmeasurable love. We are loved by God and we learn from him how to love. Whether you are a smoker, you are a drunker, you are a humanizer, Jesus loves you. And this love cannot be seen outside the church. The people of this world must learn from you believers. What you are going through within your family, at your working place, in your marriage, anywhere where you find yourself, remember that the love of God is there with you. It doesn't matter whether they hate you because of what you are doing, then you are complaining, I haven't done anything wrong. Why is that everyone is, you know, complaining about me? Know for sure that as long as you are loved by Jesus, you cannot be loved by the world. Are you getting the point? As long as you are loved by who? The world cannot do what? Mm -hmm. Let me, okay, First John chapter 3, verse 18. I'll just speak, you know, a few points because of time. Then the rest, when you go home, you can go through it. This is verse 18. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with action and in truth. Let us not love. Hmm. Are you there? Let us not love with words or speech, but with action and in truth. What does it mean? Let me talk about this first. Hey. Love is placatical. Love is action. If you say, I love you, Mlenga, it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. If you say, Mlenga, I love you, your love must be seen by your action. Since we learn from Jesus, you need to show that love to him before you show the love to anyone. That is within your heart. Love is not, you know, just empty words. It is action. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish. God did not say, I love you. No. No. He said, I love you, and he demonstrated his word. But our love is just a mere speech. This is why you see the world is on fire. Because people claim to love everyone, but behind the camera, their action is different. You can go on the camera to say, I love you. When the camera is off, you cannot show the love that you confessed. Are you there, people of God? Or in the presence of your brother or your sister, you say, I love you, my sister. I love you, my brother. I love you, my children. 
but your action is contrary to what is coming out of your mouth. This is what is, you know, giving me worry. Even within Christianity, there is too much confusion. Too much com because we are not following or obeying the will of God, rather than our feelings and our thoughts. Your feelings can mislead you. Your thoughts can mislead you. But the love of God cannot mislead you because God is involved in that love. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us not laugh with words or speeches, but with action and in truth. Within ourselves, we know that we are not telling the truth. Love is placatico. Love is not theory. No. Love is what? Placatico. There is no way you can tell someone that I love you and this person is dying with anger. And this person is not walking without shoes. You look at your hot drop, it's full of shoes. You go to visit your brother who is sick or is not working, you just say, ba 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 you say, my brother, God bless you. That is not the love of God. Love, you know, sometimes we do not need to pray. We need to act. You can just look at your brother and say, ah, my brother. Mm. Someone is complaining about lentils. You have the money that you put in your account that is for business. And this is the man who is thinking about committing suicide. And this is the woman who is thinking about going and sleep with any man so that she can get money for the lentils. You are keeping your money. You say, this money is for business. I can't touch this money. That money is useless if your sister or your brother committing what? Sin. Love is placatical. Look at the towns now. Street kids are all over. Church, wake up. We are not like these people. We are not politicians. We are the children of God. Don't look at the face of your sister to say, oh, this one belongs to that church, this one belongs to that church. No. When it comes to love, love sees beyond boundaries. We are loved by God. That's why we are here today. All those money that you are keeping in your account for your family, and you know someone who is in need, you cannot put your hand in your pocket and say, mm, go to school. They are just saying, no, uh, just continue uh, believing in God. You are the messenger God sent to that person. Love is not just, you know, mere speech. If you say, I love you, no matter how hard it is for anyone to forgive you, as long as your word is coming from Jesus, you will forgive that person. Look at your back and see what you have done in the past. No one knows the sin that you have committed. No one except you and your father in heaven. But here you are. Jesus did not say, I will remove you from this life because you have committed. No, his love is still speaking for you. Praise the Lord. So love is not just, you know, mere, I mean, empty speech. It is action. I like this statement. Mm. Do not, I mean, let us not love with what? Words or speech, but with action and in truth. If you look, you know, our leaders, their speeches on the camera, very sound. You see hope in that speech. In reality, you see nothing apart from the record that they talked about this one. That is not love. Love is placard core. Love is action. I love you. Yes. Can you neglect something that you love? Can you abandon something that you love? No. You give respect to something that you love. You love your children. You carry them to go and eat pizza. You carry them to go and enjoy with you because you are showing them that love. You can spend an amount of money, 
to show them love. Church. When I look at church now, this is not the church Jesus left. No. This is not the church representing Jesus. Because of what? We are too selfish and we are too great. If we act according to what we confess, this world will be, a, you know, a better place to live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is, this is verse 19. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at least in his presence. By doing this, by doing this, you know that you belong to the truth and you let your heart be at rest in his presence. People of God, maybe you don't know this. We are here on earth. Every child of God, servant of God, believer, we are in the flesh physically, but our heart is in the hands of God Almighty. We do not depend on what we see here on earth. Whether you hate me or you kill me today, it doesn't mean that you kill my destiny. It is the flesh that you kill. Because my heart is already in the hands of my creator. There I'm at peace. I fear no one. I fear nothing. Because of what I am doing here on earth, I am representing the will of my father to show that love. God is watching them, giving them good health. Come on, children of God. I told you that there is life after this life. We are not coming here to show anyone that, you know, we go to church. No. Going to church is because of salvation. Even someone who is working in that company, you are expecting something at the end of the month. So don't go to church because it is Sunday or holiday like this one. Go to church because of salvation. I love you. I don't know if you love me. Me, I love you. You love your neighbor. Whether you hear something that your, your neighbor was saying this, we are talking about you, keep on here smiling with that person to say, yes, you are my sister. You are my what? There you are defeating the devil and his activities. Love does not pay evil for evil. No. We are loved by God. That's why we are here. Praise the Lord. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. We are here on earth physically, but our hearts, that is the real me, the real you, a child of God, you are in the hands of your father. No one can end your life prematurely because your life is covered with his presence. Are you there? If you can support a, you know, a widow, the underprivileged, or anyone who is in need, tell me why God can allow a witch to end your life prematurely. Tell me why God can allow Satan to destroy you and there are so many people are eating from your hand. He cannot. Doc has died. But because of the activities that she was doing, she was brought back to life. Remember Ezekiel. He just said to the one, say, Father, remember me. I have been loyal to you. Even when you are praying, something that you need to show God that this is what I am doing for you. Not to say this is what I am doing for my children, my family. Talk about the kingdom of God. This is what I am doing for the kingdom of God. God will spare your life. Because you are representing his will. Jesus has no hand here on earth. It is your hand and my hand. No, eh, we love you, but we are praying for you. Do something. What kind of love is that? Hmm? Your friend is sleeping without food in the stomach. Hmm? What kind of love is that? The world is on fire. The whole entire, not only Zambia. 
Even if we say we are united or we are peaceful country, without the involvement of the creator, remember what happened in Genesis 11. When these people, they say, let us, you know, make a name or build the tower so that we make a name here on earth. There was nothing wrong to say that. They were not insulting God, but they are in unit of purpose. God was not involved. The purpose of that, you know, a desire, God was not involved. If you say you want to make a name, unless if you say so that we glorify the name of our creator. Why do you want to continue living and yet you are disconnecting yourself from the source of life? We are loved by him and we learn how to love from him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the church to show love to society. It's the church to show love to everyone. Even to our leaders, our political leaders. I know that some of you, you belong to uh, different political parties. But when it comes to the love of God, forget about your membership. Don't kill your brother. Don't destroy your sister because of political affiliation. No. We are here to show the love of God. Love is what? Tell your neighbor, say, love is practical. Love. Say it again. Say, love is action. Say, love is action. Yes. Act on your word. If I say I love you, it doesn't end there. I need to show the meaning of love. Even those who are condemning you because of what you are doing, they cannot bring you down. Jesus knows your hand. He knows your heart. He knows everything about you. Even what your enemies are planning against you, he is aware and he cannot allow them to come near you. Because you are calling his love. Human beings are not capable of doing anything that can stand a test of time. Because the world where we are is not completely. The life that we are living is not completely. Except where Jesus is in control. There you can say the, the, the life is completely. The, 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 the country where we are is completely. But as long as it is us human beings who are in charge, you can say good things in the presence of your people. Behind their back, you will say a different thing. Love does not, you know, keep any wrong. Oh. Praise the Lord. 20. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts. If your heart condemns you, there you know that your creator is greater than your heart. How? Even where you are sitting down, or those who are watching, you know that the life that I am living, it is not, you know, in line with the word of God. I live according to what I feel it is good for me. I don't care about anyone's feelings. I don't care about, you know, whoever is there complaining about my character. You are a teacher. You are a manager. You, whatever position that you occupy, know for sure that you are there to show the love of God. You cannot just wake up and say, I am a child of... No, it is the activities that you are doing. People say, I think, go and see someone there. That one is a child of God. Twenty-twenty-three, you are still carrying the same problem. I am twenty-twenty-one. You have your own problem. There are others who are complaining about you. If you love them, your enemy, you pray for them, you wish them God's blessings. God will make sure that even those who are calling evil things against you, who drop it. Hallelujah. Hmm. 
and he knows everything. I didn't finish this one. I just ends with it our hearts but let me finish with this one or let me start from verse 20. if our hearts condemn us we know that god is greater than our hearts and he knows everything what can you hide from him is there anything that you can hide from him the answer is no the answer is no we may look innocent the only problem in this world that People always support, you know, wrong things. Even if they know that this is wrong, they'll keep on supporting it. No one is supporting the love of God in this world. But the agenda of human beings is being supported by everyone. Don't forget that there is no human being who created any human being here on earth. All of us were created by him for his own good and his own purpose. It is only human being where God put his own character. Not mufite kwa fiance fio mule mwana. Ni muli mwale so mwabika character yakwe. That you represent his will. You show love to those who are not loved. You care for those who are not, you know, being cared by anyone. But uh, opposite is the case. Praise the Lord. Dear friends, this is 21. Our hearts, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God. If your heart does not condemn you, it's more like someone who is going to prison and is killed for whatever. Maybe you kill or you have done, you have defiled this one. You know for sure that where you are, if you face the judge, the outcome will be against you. You will not be at peace. You will not be at peace before the judge pronounce any sentence on you. Your heart is already condemned you or pronounce the judgment. But if you knew that you are innocent, you develop that confidence to face anyone to say, no, I am innocent. I don't know what you are talking about. Where is the evidence? Hallelujah. 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 I say love is what? Love is practical and action. Umuntu wa mitemu anga lema fati na liku temua. Adina motoka. Mfula ya isa mikisha. Tuwala nini na kwa But I love you. I am boku ya. No mbe mfule isa. No, don't worry. I love you. You manage. You can walk. But I love you so much. That is not love. Who are you deceiving that you love? You are just exposing yourself that maybe your interest is to use me and dump me. Because something that you love, you care for that thing. You plan for that thing. Even your phone, see the way you, 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 you keep your phone. To adikwatama Bible pano, nisha mwana po wabu elati nadisha Bible. Nisha mwana po wabu elati nadisha enshi. But the phone in a service that a woman to Nabuela, Natcha Samsung, Natchika, and Saito. Chamana Poe said Natcha Bible. Chamana, not what I'm a Bible. Gam Bible Tamusaka Mana is useless. See the way you care your phone. Can you leave an iPhone? You discover that, oh, my iPhone. Nangu fikire mtanta kwete transport kwa mbo kukwela. Mwabwela kusa, no, teti nje na shi. iPhone, walichwa mtengo iPhone. But Bible, up to today. Hmm? Are you there? Love is action. If you love God, you love his people. You love your brother. You love everyone. Amen. Because of time, let me end my message like this. There, there are a lot that uh, let me just pick the last verse so that you know the benefit of love if you love this is what you are going to receive from your father the last uh, you know 24 the one who keeps God's command lives in him and he in them and this is how we know that he lives in us we know it by the spirit he gave us he cannot allow you to live by your senses. 
He will give you his own spirit as a guider, a director of your life, so that you continue representing his will. When you pray, tell God the, the reason why he will bless you or keep you. Don't just say, Mwelesa, eh, ndefu anka chite. For what purpose? God has already, you know, put you there. Thank you. God bless you. Bangabate Mwelesa. Mwalimu temu. No mutima wenu fe onse. Na mano yenu yonse. Na maka yenu yonse. Are you sure? Your heart is telling you that you stop lying you are in the presence of God. This is what your heart is telling you that, mm, no, stop, you are lying. You love yourself. You love your children. You love your husband. You love your wife more than the one who gave you this life. Amen. So we are here to present the will of God. Thank you.